Can you tell I got advice from my teenage kids? <laughs> I do that dance, Dad. I'm like, I can't do it. Show me. <laughs> I still can't. Dad, I can't do it. <laughs> happy wife, happy life, right? Happy wife, happy life. Let's forget the husband, right? Like, we don't need to be happy, right? That's bullshit. Where's our fucking slogan? Happy house, happy spouse. Happy, okay, you know what? <laughs> How can you argue with that? <laughs> I'm just saying I want a catchphrase. That's all I'm saying, okay? So we're going to start it right here, okay? Happy wife, happy life, okay, fine. Happy house, happy spouse, that, okay. That's good. <laughs> I'm talking about like, Happy hubby suck his chubby or something. You know? Are you with me, fellas? Come on. We deserve that. <laughs> Happy hubby penis rubby. I, I don't know. Something. I mean, come on. Why can't we have a catchphrase? It's bullshit. <laughs> Shout out to Aries. Aries makes some noise. Are Aries in the house? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, I love the Aries. My wife, I love her. Happy birthday, babe. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Barb, our good friend. Happy anniversary to my good buddy Mikey and his wife, Bree. Where are you at? There. Happy house, happy spout. Thank you, Bree. You should have. <laughs> She's the one that gave <laughs> Yeah, marriage sucks. But congratulations. That's... Congratulations. <laughs> No, it, it's cool. It's cool. You know, I, I married a white girl, but yeah, yeah, totally. And I'm the only one in my family. We're all Mexicans, and I'm the only one that married a white girl. <laughs> They're like, what the fuck? I'm like, no, I'm infiltrating. Take, don't worry. <laughs> What's funny is that she's totally white, like white AF. But she thinks she's Mexican. <laughs> like she'll hit me and shit. Like, you know. <laughs> I'm just kidding. She doesn't hit me. I'm just a joke, baby. I'm just saying. So, uh, <laughs> her maiden last name is White. Okay. No joke. Solely true. Nicole White. I married Nicole White. But I married her in the traditional Mexican way, though. Mexicans, Latinos. Okay. Okay. I knocked her up first. <laughs> I moved into her parents' house, okay? And our five-year-old was our ring bearer. So like, full-on traditional Mexican, I am. I, gotta, I had to keep it real, okay? I'm marrying a white girl, but I'm gonna keep it real, okay? <laughs> it's funny, I met her during the holidays, right? So um, it was, yeah, Christmas time, and they were having like a... a, a <laughs> It's so funny. They were having, they were having a white Christmas. <laughs> That's why it's funny because their last name is white. So I got invited to the white Christmas. I go to the white Christmas and I'm thinking there's gonna be a few Mexicans. And you know, I'm just thinking there's gotta be. But okay, there was. There was a few. They were parking the cars. They were <laughs> cooking the food. Other than that, <laughs> get there. She runs to her daddy. Daddy. Her dad's name is Tom. Tom White. How white the fuck is <laughs> So she runs to him and I'm like standing in the doorway and she comes and like all of a sudden people are coming in and they start handing me their keys and shit. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> but here's the thing. White people know how to throw a party, okay? That's hands down. I'm going to hand it to them. That's for show. For show, Brea. For show. I know it. You know why? Because they always have an open bar. I invited my, my uncle Jose to the, to the party and he, you know, he's hiding his 30 pack already under the table. I'm like, no, Jose, you don't have to. It's okay. It's an open bar. He's like, ¿Qué es este? <laughs> open bar. It's an open bar. Okay. 
what is, what is, what is this? I'm like, we don't have to pay for drinks. It's free. He's like, what a la shit. I'm going to take my 30 pack back. <laughs> Save it for the quinceanera. <laughs> So, <laughs> that's funny, that's, I mean, the white party is great. They valet park, you got the open bar, you got food. You don't have to bring your own meat and shit, you know, like the Mexican parties. <laughs> the only thing we'll do is we'll reserve the barbecue, you know, at the park. <laughs> you got to bring your own meat, bring your own alcohol. <laughs> But at the end of the white party, you can't spend the night. There's, there's no, there, we didn't receive an email about this. Um, all the rooms are taken. Uh, I'm sorry, you can't spend the night, Pedro, you know. Us, we always get into fights with our, our Latina ladies, you know, so hey man, I gotta spend the night. Hey shit, join the others, fucker. There's like 20 Mexicans in a living room floor. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> Uh, it's funny, my, my dad, my dad, God bless him, grew up, um, my dad's a general contractor, so, you know, a lot of construction talk, okay, he didn't, you know, work with guys that were actually altar boys, you know what I'm saying, so, but I, I'm the sixth out of, uh, six, <laughs> so I'm the youngest, so by this time, my dad's like, you know, late 30s, early 40s, you know, and he, he, he says shit a lot. He was always saying shit. And I remember like being a little kid, like five years old. And um, uh, like if we were, I, was, I was making a sandwich or something, but he didn't remember like what, how to say mustard or something. Cause he's like, ah, this, that. He's like, yeah, son, just put a little shit on it. Just put a little shit on it. In my little head, I'm thinking like, I didn't want to put poo poo in my sandwich. I was like, <laughs> but he had this thing with shit. He was always saying shit. It's like I broke a vase or something or spilt milk, you know, he's like, oh, when your mother gets home, she's going to shit. <laughs> I always like was thinking in my head, like I, I wanted to be a good boy because I don't want my mom to go poo poo. <laughs> I just envisioned her coming home and like, anyways, girl, yeah, I was at the mall. You broke the vase. Oh my God. <laughs> I just saw that happening. So I didn't, I wanted to be a good boy. I don't want my mom to go poo poo. <laughs> I always thought my mom had a bowel problem or something. Like, why is she shitting all the time? My dad's always saying she's going to shit. <laughs> or like if I'm trying to lift something, too. I remember this is another thing, too, I wanted to share with you guys. Like, pick something up that was heavy or like I, I'm trying to do something. Like, oh. He'd always like, come on, son, put some shit on it. Put some shit on it. <laughs> and I was thinking, why am I going to put poo-poo on? <laughs> So, <laughs> when in doubt, put a little shit on it, okay? <laughs> Any advice, please, yeah, take that with you. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, I'm married, so, um, not too much sex anymore. <laughs> no, just kidding, we totally have sex a lot. But, you know, it's like planned. <laughs> We got to, <laughs> now at this point, we got to plan it. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes we got like five minutes and I got to like hurry up. Like, oh shit, okay, hurry, you know. Because the kid's in the shower or something, you know. That's the, the difference now, okay. But uh, <laughs> all we have is memories now, okay. Marriage, all you got is memories of like going out, partying, has crazy sex, you know what I'm saying? But like, I always had a problem with talking dirty, you know? Like, I, I, I never got that concept, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, baby, you like that shit, bitch, and like, fuck you. Know? <laughs> I'm not like that, I just, <laughs> it doesn't sound right. Like, don't call her a bitch, that's not nice. Like. <laughs> Like that shit? Was that my dad talking? <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm with this girl, okay? Long time ago, okay? Not my wife. Long time ago. <laughs> so, 
I'm with this girl and uh, she's like telling me to talk dirty to her, right? And I'm just thinking, I'm trying to be cool, you know, you just like, you're like, yeah, you know, you're trying to be cool. <laughs> like, I don't know if I need to do this, but I'm just like, <laughs> well, you know, you're trying to be cool, right? <laughs> But, uh, but we're in the moment, you know? And she's just like, she's like, oh, talk dirty to me. Talk dirty to me. And I'm like losing my mind, like, yeah. And I'm trying to think of what to say. And I'm like, I'm gonna fuck you so good, you're gonna shit yourself. And, what? Like, why would you say that? <laughs> okay, so like, you know, the world's fucked up, okay? We got a lot of shit. <laughs> shit. I try not to cuss in the act, but I'm just talking about, okay. But there's a bunch of stuff we put in our foods and stuff, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, freaking all these diseases and people, like, being born with extra parts, missing parts and all this shit. Like my buddy, take this friend, he, he, he was born with no eyelids. You know what I'm <laughs> That's not the funny part. <laughs> he was born without a face. <laughs> it's funny. But he was <laughs> but he was born without eyelids. You know what I'm saying? Like, whoa, that's crazy. So uh, he was gonna have a circumcision. Okay, right? So. The doctors quickly thought, maybe we could graft his skin and give him eyelids. So they did. I mean, needless to say, he ended up cockeyed, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> guys, my name's Tony Holguin. You guys have been awesome. Thank you so much. Give it up, Vince Royale. Bye.